Hi guys, it's Elizabeth, and I'm over here in my art loft again, and I just wanted to show you the print that I just pulled off my, my jelly plate. And then I wanted to show you how I created it. Look at this. It's got gold. Isn't it pretty? So for my birthday, my sister gave me some lace. And it was a big piece of lace. And I cut it up into small pieces of lace. Here's one of the pieces of lace I cut it into. But you can see it's a gorgeous piece of lace. So I decided that it probably would make a pretty good stencil. Well, as far as a stencil for you to pick up paint through, it's not really a very good stencil. But as far as a stencil to pick up the paint, well, actually, it acts more like a stamp because it picks up the paint. And then you take that paint away. And I think this midnight blue has got goobies in it, but we'll work with it. Anyway, you take that paint away, and what you have left on the pl plate, then you can use to um, put another color and pick up the rest of the, that which is on the plate. And yeah, I do have a lot of things on there. Look at that. Big old piece of dried up paint. We don't want a big old piece of dried up paint on there. And I do have a nice little paper towel there to get rid of some of these guys on. That wasn't good paint to use. But anyway, I had been using this blueberry paint. I used the blueberry uh, by Delta Ceram Coat. And uh, that's what I had on that other one that I already showed you. And it worked out really nicely. But this midnight blue is full of things like that. You don't want those on your plate. Yeah, those are nasty. Nasty, nasty. But what I'm doing now is just, of course, spreading it all out. It's nice and even layer. And I am kind of making it thick. If I want the, well, actually, you don't want to make it too thick. Because I'm picking it up with the lovely lace. And I'm going to roll off my brayer and take a little bit of this off. I don't know if I think it might be... Okay, that looks pretty even. Some of this over here. Now get the other booger off my brayer. And that's a little bit juicy, so maybe I need to take a little bit of that off because I don't want it too wet. Otherwise, it won't dry before I want to put my second coat down. So we'll go ahead and take a little bit of that up. And I think I took too much up because look what it's doing to me. You evil paint. Well, that'll give us a different... <laughs> I'm getting lace without even putting any lace on there. <laughs> oh, well. I think we'll pick this one up as a dried paint pick up. Okay, enough of that. I don't like the midnight blue. On there off. I'm going to take it and this. I'm gonna pick it up with a black piece of paper and do something else with that later. See how much I can pick up of that. I've got to have another piece, another color blue around here that'll work with that. So it's like it always works. If you're doing something and you get some good results, if you try to do it on camera, guess what? You're not going to get the same results. So that's a mess on that piece of paper. And we have a mess here. So we'll pick this up and get rid of it, and then we'll do our correct stuff. I'm going to just pick that up with the silver. haven't used my gel plate in probably, I don't know, a week and a half or two weeks. So I thought, well, you know, it's about time to use it again. And I got excited and got out my lace, and started playing with it, and it worked the first time every time. Well, actually, it didn't work the first time. It worked the second time because the first time I put gold on it and then picked it up with the blue, and it does show a little bit the lace, 
but uh, it doesn't enough to, to uh, think of it as a good print, or at least not for me to think of it as a good print. So I just decided I used the blue and then the gold on top, and that worked a lot better. I know I'm not using my lace, but that's because it didn't work right. My blue didn't work right. Let's see what other blue I've got in there. I see a blue back here or a brown. Let's see what color you are. Try that chocolate cherry. That sounds good. I like chocolate cherry. I like chocolate covered cherries too. Okay. Maybe I should start my video all over since that didn't work like it was supposed to. Well, that's a fun play print, but it's not what I wanted. So, one more try. I'm going to put my brown down and forget whatever I have on my plate, and we'll just see how that works with it. Maybe I should shake it a little. Did I shake the table? Probably. Don't do that. Any goobies on the plate. Come on, guys. Be nice paint for a change. No. Yep, I think there's goobies in this one, too. Well, we'll find out. Of course, my air conditioning's running, too, and maybe it's blowing on my plate. It's a pretty color. I love chocolate covered cherry color. It's kind of a reddish brown. A nice dark, dark, dark color. Dark. Okay, that looks good there. Now let's see what it looks like when I try to pull it off of there with my lace. I'm going to use this piece that already has some gold on it, but it doesn't have any, any brown on it. And we're going to put that down and kind of stretch it as we go so that it's really covering the whole thing. Make sure that it's, because it is stretchy lace, it is, I think it's uh, polyester instead of being a cotton lace. Then I put a piece of paper on top of it so that I can make sure that I press it down onto the plate. And what that's going to do then is to have the uh, lace pick up, hopefully, pick up the paint that it touches. And then I'll have the lace look on my plate. I'm going to put my gold color on it. Then it will come up and look like lace on my paper. I know, if you were doing something in print, well, you could use it for collage and stuff. And I'm sure that interesting stuff okay I don't have I don't have a few little dots on my plate I mean on my paper let's see what we have on our lace nope there's some there's some some color to it and look at the plate can you see the green through there from the table below it that's looking pretty good you see that? Now where that, there was some silver that was left on there, which is going to be an interesting whatever it does to it. Of course, now we have to wait until the thing dries, which is always a pain for me because I'm not good at 
patience, so let's see what it looks like from the from the back side. Can you see that? Oh, I think those little little um, silvers that are in there is going to make some interesting stuff with it. But anyway, we're going to pick this up. If I don't knock everything onto it, we're going to pick this up with our uh, gold extreme sheen paint because it's really nice stuff to pick stuff up with. See, it looks like that. Extreme Sheen by Deco Arts. The one I'm currently using is the Chocolate Cherry by Deco Arts. Deco, sorry, Delta Ceram Coat, sorry. This is Deco Art. Two different companies. I'm trying to mess me up here. What's this one? Is that one too? Does that have some in it? No. I have a lot of empty bottles here. I need to clean off my desk and get rid of all the bottles of stuff I'm not using. I wonder if I should pick that up with silver. No, I should pick it up with the gold. Let's see if I have a paint bottle over here while I'm waiting for that to dry. Oh yes, I have a brand new one. I need to make sure it's shaken up because they, when you first get your paint, a lot of times it has that little juice on top. If you have that little juice on top, it's not so good. Brand new one. Let's see if it'll work. Come on, dry paint. You'll just have to fast forward through this part if you don't want to listen to me and watch my paint dry. Come on, paint. Dry some faster. Dry some faster. Thought it was drying fast enough earlier, but no. Now it's not, of course. Put that out of the way. And I didn't even clean off my <laughs> desk before I started the video because I was so excited about it. So I was watching a Patty Tolly Parish uh, video. She does the um, gel plate, and I just love her. She was one of the first ones that I ever saw ever watched and she really inspires me to do all kinds of things <clears throat> she didn't use lace on her she was just printing on fabric and i said hmm what if you used lace as a fabric to pick up stuff so then i tried it and it worked worked better the first time than it's working now of course because i'm on camera and that's the secret if you're on camera it's gonna mess up okay baby let's work I'm put it down here in this corner. And I know I put a little too much, but it's been kind of dry. So let's see if we can spread that out and make that roll instead of pick up stuff. Doesn't seem like it's wanting to stick to that paint. That won't be good if it doesn't stick to that paint. I can't pick everybody up at once. Come on, guys. Do it for the camera. The show must go on. I wonder what that is right there. It's not. It's doing weird stuff right there. For your last roll, you always do a just let the brayer brayer weight roll, and that looks pretty good. So we'll stop with that and see if it'll pick up. Here we go. A white sheet. Down. And now I'm pressing pretty hard to pick it all up at once. And I do have to smooth it for a little while, so you'll have to bear with me.
Okay, let's see what we've got now. Let's see. Do you feel like you're done? No, not right. Not yet. Peek at a corner in a minute. Let's see how the corner looks. Mm, looks like it's picked it up. Mostly. I <laughs> still have a little bit on the plate. But look at that. I think that's a success. I'm calling that a success. What do you think? Can you see the gold in there? Oh, the chocolate is so pretty. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Come back if you don't. Maybe I'll have it different the next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you want to. Comment. I usually try to check my comments. Anyway, bye-bye.